Yes, I'm washing tops and yeah, cleaning after these guys. But now we are in Varangerbotten in East Finnmark, not so far away from the Russian border. So we are up in the north, of course. We have had a very nice meeting and now are we are going to some company and bless this company. We pray and anoint this company so this company will have a success in the business. So we like it. This is our style. Preach the gospel, bless the businesses and uh, bless the people around. Yes, so we, we have had so good and nice trip to now and we are going to have a better. Yes, in Jesus name. God bless you. See you around. Amen. Last night was a really nice time, you know, after being a few days all over, you don't know what to expect anymore from God, but it's always surprising. So we came yesterday, uh, It was it's a nice place, nice church, good people, open hearts. Um, I had to preach in English, that was uh, nice, it was new, it was the first time in that trip that I had to, <laughs> to preach in English, because it's usually under the Hebrew, so it was interesting, but really got open new new ways uh, new things to say to people and you can see the openness of their hearts and the hunger for the hearts and especially the love that they have to each other so it was really special uh, we had a lot of uh, prayers requests uh, i didn't pray too much but uh, daniel and Nils were praying a lot for the six and that was really good really powerful and you can see that we're so happy and we met some international students that they are working here um, it was good, it was good to meet them, they were the set that, that God opened them many new things and it's powerful. Good day, praise God. It's only minus 22 degrees, we're surviving this trip, it's going well. So we just had a meeting and we prayed for people and people were touched by God, they were so open and so hungry for a prayer. I had a chair next to me. And when that chair was empty, another person came, then another person came, and I wanted prayer and, and be blessed by God. And you could you could see like they, they had a hunger in their heart, and even though this is a church in the middle of nowhere, it is Norway, of course, then, uh, no, I should have said that. It's not nice to tell them they have a church in nowhere. Should we start the beginning? So, but I'm just clipping it away afterwards. Even though this is a church far up north, people are hungry for the gospel. And even though it's cold, it's hot up inside. So it's, it's nice. There was a lot of elderly people who came here and a few young people that were here. But you could really see that they had a heart for God. And they loved Israel. And I loved being there. So it was uh, quite fun. Some of them knew me from before. Some of them were new faces. Some of them I met before and other here and there. So quite good. Praise God. Now we're ready for it. Hey, welcome to our shop in Varangobotten. Daniel, Sazon yeah. and Nils. Yes. Yeah. Enjoy yourself here. Thank you for yesterday. Good meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Now in Varangerbotten, Ariel and Annalisa's place. So they are here. They are. We are going to bless this and pray for this place, and uh, so it will be success. But it's already success, but will continue to be a success. We are allowed to bless the businesses and the people around where we are, where we're traveling in the world. So now we are here in Varangerbotten. It's so nice, and so good. God bless you. See you around. Super, super taste. The sheep from this area there. So it's very nice. You can see traditional way. Amen. Everywhere you see, they love Israel. I use this every day, every day. <laughs>
Okay, so half hour ago we were in Norway with Adgi time and now we are in Finland. So we have good experience with Finland. You see, I have some friends here with me. I have some bears. So it's really funny that we've been in Norway, now we're in Finland. And it feels the same, but it's, it's a different culture, different country. And cool, we love it, enjoy it. <laughs> 